Hello guys, today I will be reviewing the new iPod Touch 5th generation and here is the box. Now, I have purchased this iPod in Slate, 32 gigabytes. Let me prove that to you, if you can see that. Right there. And, yeah, Best Buy for $361. Now, um, as you can see, I already opened it. But if you want to take a look inside, if you want me to, I will do it. Just open the box. Now, if you ever want to return this, you always have to keep this sticker thingy that comes with it on the back or on it or whatever. Here, I have opened the thing. And now, when you get your iPod, it will come on this plastic thing I'm a jig. And the way you open it is that you pull this tab on the bottom if you can see that and then and then it will just like slide out but I keep the tab there because uh, if I ever return it to get a different color or something like that you know I need it alright so now it says designed by Apple in California let's open this up and it says hello uh, hello back and this is just a pamphlet with your start guide and blah blah and your apple stickers really don't want to open it it was a pain in the ass to get it back in and yeah so this I bought like at least three days ago I think it was on like Saturday or something I, I don't remember and get this little thing for the ear pods now this does not come in that plastic nice plastic casing like the iPhone 5 does or if you find it the iPhone 5 but this is the little casing and I'm gonna go get the actual headphones Here's the actual headphones and here is the new ear pod now these headphones sound really great. Their deep is their bass is really deep. Uh, you can see that it black like two speakers. If you can see those, another speaker, and down here, where is it? Right there. There's another speaker. Now these two speakers over here on the actual pod, they uh, blast music right straight into your ear canal, and basically you get better sound. And, of course, these will only work for left and right ears. So you have to do it actually how it, how it tells you to. And now, the actual thingamablob. The iPod Touch 5. Put a screen protector on it already. Um, let's just clear all this out. No one needs you. Alright, so here it is. And has a camera, front facing camera right there which can be good for like FaceTime and taking self pictures for Facebook or something and here you see iPod and whatever the written thing is now up here you have a 5 megapixel eyesight camera along with a mic and flash and since they put the, this titanium whatever this material is here instead of the chrome back, thank god. Um they had to put this up here which can be kind of ugly but it makes the Wi-Fi like connect a lot faster and it will receive better signal, which eh, why not? If you if you could do it then why not? If it makes it stronger. Now here is the loop connector which I forgot to mention in the unboxing of the box. Now to connect the loop you have to just click this thing and put it on. In my later video, I'll um, show you how it actually works. Just click that back in here. Hold on. Turn on my light. If you can see that, they put a new speaker, the lightning connector. And they moved the headphone jack to the left, which can be really annoying to get used to, but eh, who cares? And as you can see, the pretty slate. Alright. Turn the light off. 
conserve energy and let's turn it on. Oh, my cool Apple logo. Um, it displays a four in it has a four inch display. The camera shoots um 1080p video, and the flash is very nice. It also has face recognition. Recognition. Can't talk today. Um, so far I probably wasted like 25 gigabytes or something, and it also features the notification sensor. Yep. Um, what else? That's pretty much it. I mean, if I was to suggest this for a gaming device, I would totally have you buy it. Because it is not, like, just a device to watch videos on. But it is. You could use that if you want. Um, you can uh, buy it as a music device, which is the whole point of it. But gaming and music and, like, video watching, that's good. When you get this iPod, and I suggest you use it 100% um, until it dies. Charge it 100% until it dies, but be patient. And um, it will actually make your battery last longer. Now, if that does not work, download this from the App Store. It's called Battery Doctor. And as soon as it loads up, uh, we'll show you. it can show your battery status. Filming on my iPad, so this is like gay quality. Uh, it will tell you what will like suspend your battery life. It will like what will hurt it, and everything. And it will tell you a message like uh, what's what app is wasting the most stuff. It will tell you how long you need to recharge, your health score, and uh, it tells you like somewhere, somewhere there, uh, that if you have more than a hun like less than a hundred percent. You should charge it, and if you have more than 20%, you should charge it. So, and then that will keep your battery really healthy. Also, it will speed up your device if you can accelerate, just click accelerate. And then after that, detect it again, just click it, ju just to make sure. And it will actually speed up your device. It has the best state, uh, so you have to do it twice. And that's it for, um, oh, I almost forgot, the volume rockers. And of course, nothing on the side. I will not be doing a drop test of this. This is, I did not get a protection plan. I will not be doing a drop test. All right. This is the Dubstep Master Thirteen. Peace.